Hey, my name is Matt Giordano, theyogimat.com. Thank you so much for watching. What I want to share with you today is the hidden truth about your core. It is no secret that having a strong core is important, but what does it mean to have a strong core? To make this topic a little bit easier to discuss, I usually separate the difference between core strength and core intelligence. Core strength is an easy concept. All it is is the ability to contract your abdominal muscles against resistance. Core intelligence requires that you have strong abdominal muscles, but it also requires that you have an intelligence about how to use your body as it relates to the center of your core. In simple terms, it means to have an understanding of where your extremities are in space and be able to pull them into the center line of your body. Most people think that in order to have a really strong arm balance or handstand practice, you need a strong core. The reality is the strength of your core is not as important as the intelligence of your arms and your legs as they relate to the center of your body. One of the techniques that I stress in the handstand strength training video is squeezing in will bring you up. It's not just squeezing your abdominals inward, but squeezing your extremities inward. That could mean your hands, your elbows, your feet, your knees, or even your thighs. Squeezing inward allows your core to know where your extremities are, making it easier for you to balance and hold your body with strength and stability. There are two specific ways I talk about squeezing in. One is towards the center of your body or towards your core. Everything squeezes in. Another is towards the midline of your body. It's an imaginary line down the center of your body that divides you between right and left. And when you take the two sides of your body and you squeeze them inward towards this imaginary line, what you find often is a lot more lightness and strength and power. An amazing pose that requires that you both squeeze into the midline of your body and the center of your core is Ashtavakrasana, eight angle pose. I'd like to show you how core intelligence makes this pose easier. First, I set up. I take one elbow underneath my leg and I clamp the leg over it. This hand is quite wide to create a shelf. The other hand sets fairly wide as well, wider than shoulder width apart. The first step is to be able to squeeze in towards your core. So I take this leg and I pull it back into the center of the body. Watch how that works. I pull this leg back into the center of the body and my hips will naturally come up. So I squeeze this leg back my hips go back, my chest goes forward. Next step, if I crisscross the legs and flex the feet, I do the same exact thing. I pull everything back, let my chest go forward. I make a ball out of my body and lightness happens. The next step, adding on, squeezing into the midline, the two legs squeeze toward one another. Watch how this happens. So as I pull back and I create the smallest ball possible, then I squeeze my legs together and I get lighter. Now I turn the top leg in to further strengthen my adductor of my inner left leg and that's going to give me more lightness, more strength and allow me to go into the full range of the pose. If this approach to the practice intrigues you and you want to learn more about how to break down poses in this way, you can check out my mentorship mastery program available on the yogi mat dot com slash mentorship. Thank you so much for watching and a special thanks to those who subscribe to my newsletter and my YouTube. I look forward to seeing you all next time.